scar but this is the stitches where they open my heart and it goes to, to here hi you probably clicked this video because you are curious or you have an experience like what I had or you can relate to it or you know someone who are going to undergo a major surgery or you have upcoming surgery or you just had a surgery and you had a hard time dealing with it well this video is to help you to prepare you for your upcoming surgery or to guide you what you've been through that when you watch this video you can relate to my story and if I made it, you can make it through. Disclaimer, if you are um, not comfortable of watching videos about surgery and um, you're not comfortable of watching uh, wounds during the surgery, please skip this video and watch other video on my channel. I just had a third open heart surgery, yes, for the third time last April. And what I had is I had a heart valve replacement because the valve that I had, it was a titanium valve. Um, it was very small. So in order for my heart to pump, um, in order for my blood, in order to my heart to pump blood and to circulate blood all over my system, uh, I need to undergo, unfortunately, the third heart uh, open heart surgery for heart valve replacement. So what I about to show you is my journey and my experience during my third heart operation, my third heart surgery. Um, I'm just gonna show you uh, the the first day that I'm in the hospital and the day after the surgery and also the journey with it and um, I can understand if you feel bad about me because that is very normal but don't worry I'm already okay but as what I said my intention is to help you to inform you about what it is all about how does it look when you have a surgery what is the journey when when someone had a major surgery like like what I had so I so my whole experience itself, it was, it was not easy. It was very hard, especially that this is third heart, open heart surgery for me. Um, I hope that when you watch this video, you are not only informed, but it will give you hope that if I made it through and look, I am now, um, when you watch the video later, how I look and, and, the, the process of yeah of, of healing it, it really takes time so i hope that again this will only not inform you but also to give you hope that whatever it's going on in your life at the moment that um you can you, you can make it through if, if i made it through that was very hard for me it was a third heart surgery for me and you can you can make it through and you will be, you will be okay. Tomorrow is a big day for me. It's the day of my open heart surgery for the third times. And I am, to be honest, I am scared. I am nervous to think about it that tomorrow it is but in the same time I need to undergo through that surgery because it's been a while that I'm not doing well that my heart is she's doing her best to keep me alive we're not mortals come the moment that this is it and, 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 and she cannot do it anymore so just to make it to explain in a simple way 
Um, so a, a group of doctors and heart specialist decided that I need the surgery as soon as possible. So today is April 6 and tomorrow is 7. So April 7 is the day of my open heart surgery. So for those all of you who know already that I am a heart patient and I've been through a lot of surgeries in my life and now this is the third time that they're gonna open my heart take the old uh, titanium valve and replace another valve so it is a heart valve transplant another heart valve transplant to the goal is to that it could function well what it been needed because it's been a while that it's just keeping up for the pace but I am not feeling well so um, I question myself today am I ready and you know I realized that no one is ready even though you've been preparing for it for a long time you're never been ready especially situation like this no one no one wants to be like this no no one wishes to have this and you will never be ready how does it feel how does it feel when you are you know that you have a surgery for tomorrow and it's a big surgery it and it's scary very confronting and it makes me nervous the difference is now i know how it is how it's gonna be the surgery what is the feeling after the surgery before i don't have that feeling i am not that mentally prepared but even now I'm still not mentally prepared no nobody when you have that moment when somebody tells you okay tomorrow or the next days is your surgery so get ready with it it you never been prepared Today is the first day that I get this. This is the first day that um, that I'm able to get out in the ICU, and um, the surgery went very well successful i'm very thankful that i wake up and um yeah um what i'm feeling right now is a lot of pain um pain everywhere in my body especially in my chest um, I get dizzy, I don't have any taste buds, I don't like to eat, because if I eat, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> um, I have a hard time to talk, because during the surgery, they... Um, there's it's not a mistake but it's an incident that they're able to put the i i call it the machine where i have to breathe in my throat and i got some wounds inside i am very weak I'm tired. This is all the effect 
because of the medicine that I'm using. I feel like I'm just dizzy, sleepy. I'm gonna throw up. It's, it's just like everything that you don't want to feel as a human being. It's, it's, the feeling is undescribable, undescribable, aside from the pain. But I'm just very grateful that I went through the surgery and I am now in the road of my recovery. So this is the I'm gonna show you now that the scar but this is the stitches where they open my heart and it goes to, to here and um, I'm also with I'm they also put me with the catheter Unbelievable how hard it is. It's so hard, painful that every heart patient have to go through every surgery. For those who have who had a surgery, I know this is. You can relate to me, of course. Nah, that's not my rock star, eh? Hey. Come on, give me a smile. Give me, give me a little bit of smile. For the people waiting. Oh, that guy gave the stitch, eh? Hey. Three days after the surgery. So the real struggle begin when I wake up in intensive care. Uh, I, I remember walking, uh, I remember waking up that I couldn't speak because my throat was damaged during the surgery because of the pipe that they put in your throat in order you, that you can breathe. Uh, because I, it, it took eight hours long uh, the surgery itself. Um, I have complication in my lungs. I accumulate a lot of water in my lungs. Again, the difficult part, not only the surgery itself, but you know, after the surgery. And I, it's what I said, I remember waking up and I don't have a voice and you experience all of, all of the feelings, all of the side effect of the medication that they given to you. I was dizzy. I couldn't. I couldn't see good, and I have to throw up. It felt very miserable. It felt very helpless, and you are just waiting for the medication, the, the pain medication. That, that that's everything what, what you have, because you don't want to feel the pain, and then and, and, and that's was the struggle for it. And I was very weak. I was. I was very weak. It took me um, a week before I can I can walk slowly. Uh, I couldn't eat good because I don't taste everything. I don't taste the food and every time I eat, I, I throw up. So that was the, the struggle also aside of being weak and making yourself strong and try to, to try to start again. So you have to start all over again just like a child learning to walk, learning to balance yourself. So yes, that, that was a real struggle for me. To all of you who undergo a major surgery or minor surgery, or you know someone who just had uh, a surgery, doesn't really matter if it's heart surgery or what kind of surgery, but 
um, to undergo a surgery like this is very heavy. Not only, n not only physically, but also mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Like it's like you feel that your world is getting small, and that everything around you is is, is very sensitive. The whole world, your whole world, shake is shaking. It consumed your energy. It it leads you to a question for yourself that why what, what's going on. That's why uh, during this period of difficult time of your life, you need to surround yourself. You need to surround yourself to people who loves you, the people you trust, your family, your good friends. You need them in your journey, even before. You, you need them before and after. You need them before and after the surgery because you need someone you need you need someone to rely on you need someone to talk that somebody can hear you not only assist you physically for the things that you need but also that you can someone who can listen to you and can understand what you've been through what you're going through i know for you and me and for all the patient out there it's not easy it's never been easy But all I can say is that we need to be strong because giving up is not an option. And you need to give yourself a credit for being strong, for being resilient, that not giving up. And this time you, you give credit to yourself for, for what you have and be grateful that you are alive, that you breathe, that you survive or even though it's hard but but you're going to you're going to face this together with your family and the people you love i am still in the process of healing um, it's now a few months five months after my surgery it is not like like that you're gonna be healed it takes years it takes they said it takes one year but for me it it, it takes it takes a year or a years it doesn't really matter it's depend of of how you deal with it um that's what i said i'm still in my healing journey and what makes me go through this number one prayer believe in him that nothing is impossible with his mercy um, the love of my family and friends that I experience that the support that they've given to me and of course the love of myself that knowing that I still have a purpose I still have a dream and I still want to live and I still want to experience this beautiful thing around me that helped me go through and and if you're if you're having a hard time just know that you are not the only one you have sister and brothers like me who you can share also more but and if you really had a very hard time to deal with it just know that you are not alone um, we are here for you and you are not the only patient you are not the only heart patient you are not the only one who undergoes surgery at the end you will be okay you will make it through this journey takes time the healing takes time and it takes patience from you that you have to understand that everything takes time and healing and you need to be kind to yourself and know that you are surrounded with love that god protects you 
and you are a strong human being and you can you can do this so guys thank you so much for watching this video uh, thank you so much for spending time with me and if you think that this video is helpful give a thumbs up and share this video for those who need to hear my story and also subscribe to my channel and once again thank you so much for spending your time and i see you guys for the next time and if you have any question regarding the surgery just drop a comment below and i will i will answer your question as soon as i can take care of yourself take care of your heart and be strong believe me you got this <laughs>